Hi there. In this video, we're going to look at some of the new features in Naxport 9.0, kicking off with Naxport Hub. Hub is an online video analysis platform which allows you to upload and share and get the absolute maximum out of your video analysis work. But more than this, it provides a central meeting point for you and your team, where you can share insights into the game, start conversations, receive feedback, track your team's performance and much more. In short, Hub is a communication revolution, a 360 degree video analysis ecosystem which gives you the tools needed to improve performance throughout your team. Check the description for more information. Now, let's move on to some of the other features of Naxport 9.0, starting with the live analysis workflow. The biggest change here is that you can now work with up to four different camera angles simultaneously. From the Capture Settings menu, click on the tab for the angle that you want to add and click Enable Angle. Now add the capture device you want to use or an IP address if you're using an IP camera. So, there you have it. Now you can work with up to four different cameras simultaneously. Speaking of live capture, we've added the ability to export quick clips during live capture. To do this, simply select the clip you want from the play-by-play -play table. Play it and click this icon to export the video. By default, the clip will be saved in the Documents folder. Click Naxport Data and then Videos. Here, you'll find a folder which contains the clip, allowing you to share it quickly without stopping the capture. If you're using multiple angles, only the first angle will be shared in this manner. When it comes to tagging a game, there have been several changes in the tagging window. When editing a tagging window, there are some new options. The first of these is the ability to create a keyboard shortcut for clicking multiple clustered buttons. We call this a cluster pin. To create a cluster pin, right click on the background of the tagging window and select Add Cluster Pin. An orange icon will appear which you place on top of the clustered buttons that you want to tag. You then assign a key to the pin. Talking of shortcuts, this is another big change. There are many more shortcuts available with Shift, Alt, Control combinations. In the case of our cluster pin, we assign it the W key. And, as you can see, when pressed, it tags both an attack and possession at the same time. This means that you can work much faster and much deeper. Another change here is the possibility to automatically add an open manual category as a descriptor. Select the button and activate this option from the Behaviour tab. This means that while Manual button is active, it will also be added as a descriptor to any other clips that are tagged. For example, when the Defence Manual category is open, and we also tag a pass, Defence will also appear as a descriptor in the Pass tag. Now we activate the Midfield category, and you can see this appears as a descriptor when we tag a pass again. Same with Attack. Moving on to the timeline, there are changes in both the data matrix and the dashboard. In the data matrix, at both the top and the sides, you can see the groups that correspond to your categories and descriptors. With this, you can quickly access the clips associated with each group. If you want to be more specific, use the matrix as it has always been used, and click the individual parameters you want to view. You can also see groups at the end of the matrix, and you can click on the intersection to see how they relate to the other parameters. Right-click on any category or descriptor to create a new group containing that parameter, or to add it to an existing group.
There have also been some changes to the dashboard. One of the new features you'll find here is that graphic descriptors on dashboards are now interactive in Naxport Pro and Elite. You can now click them to view the corresponding clips. We've also made some changes to how you work with dashboards and how they're edited. Now, to edit a dashboard, you need to activate the editing mode, which reveals a new menu on the left. From here, you can directly access any of the items you've already created. At the top, you can filter the specific items you want to see. There are also some new tools, such as the ruler, which can be activated in the upper right. When using a ruler, click on any of the sides of the dashboard to create a reference line. This line can be moved and adjusted in order to better organize the dashboard. Editing items on the dashboard has also been simplified. Now, to edit the size, drag and drop any of the editing points. Select any item on the dashboard to see the options for editing, duplicating, locking and deleting. You can also create new items from this icon at the top. One of the new things you can create is a data matrix. From here, select the parameters you want to include in the matrix and hit save, and it will appear on the dashboard. This matrix is interactive. Click on any intersection to view the clips. In addition, from the dashboard itself, you can add new analyses to create a combined dashboard. You can add these from the list of analysis here. From Naxport Pro, you can add up to three analyses at the same time, and in Naxport Elite, it's unlimited. As you can see, now that they have been added, you can move between each analysis using the drop-down menu. You can also view all the data combined on the dashboard at once. Moving on to presentations, you can now make quick drawings on a video. To do this, click on the drawing icon that you can find in the presentation control window to open the tools. These are simple tools which are designed for on-the-fly drawings to clarify points during a presentation. Remember, these drawings cannot be saved. You also have the option to keep the drawings on screen or clear them after pressing play. This option can be changed from the settings menu. Finally, we come to the newest option for sharing data with colleagues. Data can even be shared between Windows and Mac. This option is called Quick Share. It allows you to generate a download link for your tagging windows, analyses or presentations. From the presentations environment, you can see the quick share icon. Click it and you'll get the option to create a link for selected clips, selected lists or the whole presentation. In the link creation menu, you can set whether this will be a one-time use link or set a limit to how long the link can be used for. You can also password protect the data that is to be shared. Click Create Link to generate a link, which can then be copied and pasted and sent to your colleague. To download the data, click on Download Quick Share and paste the link to download the data. To quick share tagging windows, open the one you want to share and select Create Quick Share from the Options menu. To share analysis data, go to the View Analysis environment, select the analyses you want to share and click the icon.